Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the comparison of a real and a fake Focal uh, Assess Series um, freeway. So uh, in here we have two boxes of uh, Focal Assess Series freeway and uh, one is fake and one is a um, real one. But uh, I'm not going to tell you because uh, I think the fake one actually copy quite well and the reason I make this video I I'm not encouraging any people to buy the fake one in indeed um, actually the fake one is not that cheap either uh, it's only half the price of the real one or maybe less uh, it's more than half the price so um, the reason I make this video is that um, to actually educate any people who are interested in buying any Focal speaker be aware that there are many many um, you know a replica of the Focal uh, actually there there are like I perhaps maybe five or six more different model I think oh, almost 10 model that is actually uh, they are fake in the market so I'm going to show you the box first and, and you decide. So uh, the first one you can see, uh, the packaging actually uh, is damaged by the you know transportation. So just ignore the packing, packing uh, damage. Just look at the, just look at the, you know, the the box itself. So basically, different language and they. they it's pretty heavy as well because there are quite many speakers. So that's the first one. And it actually has a serial number as well, you can see. Uh, written in France. I believe. Yeah. And here is the, the other one. Um, it has a serial number as well. Putting the uh, same same positions and then the back of it they look pretty much the same isn't it even the color the color of the box the printing detail is pretty much uh, spot on to be honest so open it we have a manual open that we have a manual as well so um, so, uh, this one we don't have to know. It has two cover off cover. It has three in here actually. Three cardboard here. So, do you have any idea which one is the fake one and which one is the real one? Uh, I'm going to tell you now, because uh, I actually spot the difference already. Um, from, from researching on the internet, I spot that um, the real one actually always comes the woofer on the top of the box and if you look at this one the woofer actually is on the bottom so that's the first one but of course you know that is actually just the packaging so you can the, the counterfeit actually can rearrange that so this one is actually the real one I bought it from uh, Amazon UK and this one I bought it from the wholesale um, in China, no, no, there's no, um, how do you say it? Uh, never mind, yeah. So, this is the thick one. Um, this one I already opened already, so it comes with the plastic bag, but I, I, I check it beforehand, yeah. So, this is the real one. So by by first sight, let me see the they they look. I mean, just looking looking at the logo, the the real one actually a little bit brighter uh, with the finishing. You can see, but it's very very uh, minor that you can check it because if you are if you don't have a comparison, I bet that you cannot spot any any um, 
you know, differences. And I have to be very be careful because I don't want to mix it up because uh, I will use the real one, <laughs> the thick one. I'm going to use it as an educational purpose. And here you can see the, the label. Uh, the color is slightly different and the thick one actually a bit more bold, the, the character. But they look exactly very similar. And they both made in China. So this one, the real one actually made in China as well. I believe they outsourced the lower end model to China. So, and the cone is this one a little bit lighter. Uh, this one a bit yellowish so it has a serial number in here and the same with this one just by looking at it uh, if you don't have a comparison i believe that you can't spot it's very difficult to to spot the count you know the replica the replica one and the real one it's so damn hard to spot uh, uh, later, I will put the speaker in a in a you know sound box, so you can also see if there are any different in sound quality. Uh, let's check on the maybe woofer first. So here's the woofer for the real one, and let me open it. believe there are many many Focal thick one in the market so if you are looking for Focal speaker go with the you know more reputational seller maybe like crutch view or maybe you know verify I I bought it from Amazon UK so I think I got the real one <laughs> That's the that's the replica. But the packing, you know, even the plastic bag having the same logo. <laughs> yeah, same printing plastic bag. So damn hard to. The same with this one, the cone is a bit more yellowish. But I bet that if you don't have the comparison, you cannot spot it. Um, you see this one is more um, you know, white and black this one a little bit more yellowish um, the print the color is a little bit different but I would say it's, if you don't have the comparison you cannot spot it terminal wise they look the same they have the same serial number here they both the same. Uh, yeah, they they just some coloring issue. Otherwise, they look identical. To be honest, it's very very difficult to spot. So let's check on the crossover. Oh, actually, no, I don't think. So that's the replica. Let's see, new wave crossover. Man, um, from my eye, I don't see any big difference. They they look pretty much the same. So this is the real one. This is the replica. Can you spot any difference? I. I basically I don't so except just some components the size I and I don't think you you should use the character to actually distinguish the the real one and the replica one because the components could 
the character could be changed. So, man, they weight exactly the same too. Okay, so uh, that's the open open box of the real one and the uh, fake one. Now I'm going to do a sound test of the real one and the fake one. Woofer. I'm not going to do the Twitter. And oh, let's let's check on the Twitter. Oh yeah, there is one big difference. Because I I actually uh, bought some real Twitter and also a fake Twitter. I think you can actually distinguish the the real one and the fake one with the Twitter. Uh, by looking at the Twitter, you can see the wiring here. It it use a silver color wire, so you can see it's very clear. It's clean. It's not oxidized. And with the thick one, you see it's using copper. And for sure, the quality of the copper wire is very very bad because it's already. You can see a significant um, oxidation on the wire. So I, you bet on the money. Um, I think you can use the Twitter to identify the real one and the fake one because I have bought several um, fake vocal um, component speaker. The Twitter is always using a copper and they never use a silver one, at least from what I got. And, uh, and the real one, sometimes they do have a copper one, but most of the time they will have a silver uh, wire. I think that's that's the most obvious way to find a real real vocal. Uh, let me open the the Twitter so we can have a look inside. Oh, the packing is a little bit different too. Yep. Um, so that's the real one. And that's the fake one. Okay, TN47, 43, oh, they, they have the same, the same label actually, yeah, but um, they look identical as well, except for the wire, so unless the thick one uh, changed the wire, otherwise I f to identify a real vocal, the Twitter would be the the one to go. So now we have done unboxing. Uh, I'm going to show you um, with the woofer, the sound test. So uh, just hold on. I'm going to move, move everything to the to the sound box. Um, so now we have uh, put the woofer on the sound box. Um, just bear in mind, I'm just using my phone to uh, record the sound, so yeah, it's very minimum different as well. Uh, unless you are using different brand, so uh, if you have good eye, I believe that you can already see which one is the real one and which one is the fake one. So um, I'm going to tell you, this one is the fake one, this one is the real one. Now I'm going to play uh, some music by Mike Angels. So I will I'll turn on the button here. So if I turn this on, that means the thick one is playing. And if I turn this on, the real one is playing. And before I switch, I normally will turn it off and turn on. So you have the you know the right away impressions of the of the you know the speaker. So now I'm going to play the music.
I'm going to give you some, um, you know, opinion from what I heard from him in front of the speaker. Um, they sound very similar, uh, but the, you know, the real one sounds a bit more brighter. That's first, maybe 20% brighter. Uh, the uh, clarity, uh, this one is better as well. And also the bass movement. Uh, this one actually, I just by looking at the speaker, I believe this one will have more bass as the cone actually looks moving more. And it sounds more bass as well. So from what I heard, I would give it maybe 80% of um, this one. The capability would be 80% of the real one. And uh, some of you might heard some rattle noise. I think it's from this one because um, when this one is moving, uh, the speaker around it actually, um, you know, moves vibrate as well. So, um, yeah, so that's the woofer. Now I'm going to test the Twitter as I believe some of you want to know as well. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, so um, I have connected the fake one first and uh, I have added the filter as well. Oh, by the way, the woofer just tested is not, uh, is giving it full range of frequency. So uh, the woofer, I did not uh, add any crossover. So, but the Twitter, uh, I have added the crossover from Alpine, uh, I think, which is quite good. No, I, now I'm playing. So I'm going to change to the real one. Now play the same music. So right away, I can tell the real one is more brighter. That's the first time I hear as well. So this one, the real one is much brighter. Uh, so basically, it's like what you, you know, what you get what you, for what you pay. But, uh, the the sound quality, they 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 both have a very very similar character, in a characteristic, but the the thick one always maybe twenty or thirty percent less than the real one. So thanks for watching.